All right, it's time to get back to working on the Porsche. This time, we're gonna finish up all the firewalls, we're gonna install the motor, and get this thing that much closer to being ready. But for those that don't know, this is my tube chassis Porsche 914 I'm building for Time Attack. It has a 500 horsepower Subaru motor we finished up last episode, along with the rear firewall. Now, let's get to work. The chassis needs some welding and some other finishing touches, and all this becomes a lot easier with the suspension removed. With everything removed, I called over a friend to humor me and lift the bare chassis. Alone, it wasn't super heavy, but I can tell it's also not super light. That being said, it's definitely going to be a very light car. So with everything out of the way, I can finally do all the welding I've been putting off for a long time. The rear firewall is only missing a few little pieces, so I turned them from paper to metal and sheet metal to a pretty firewall. But one last bit is needed before I can final weld them, and that is the shoulder harness tabs. These are double shear tabs made by All Star, and they make the job of welding in a double shear tab extremely easy. For harnesses, you want double shear brackets because they are twice as strong as a single tab on its own. But that added strength means nothing if they're not at the right angle. If done wrong, it could lead to very serious injury. The firewall for the fuel cell is the last big piece of sheet metal left to install. It's an organic shape, so it's not an easy job. In an effort to save some weight and also make the shifter easier to look at, I'm going to cut down the base plate. I'm using an end mill and a bridge port. It's an easy process if you aren't trying to film it. Rear suspension mounts are a little too big, 
So for style points and weight cutting, I'm gonna cut them down with the trusty plasma cutter. With that done, I can now add some much needed reinforcement to both plates. This is a quick disconnect harness plug from Maven Performance. It allows you to easily disconnect large sections of harness for easy removal of the engine without the crappy OE plastic connectors. Installation of the connector is made super easy from this hole saw specifically made for sheet metal. It's basically magic with no metal distortion at all. Now I can finally install the last few bits on the motor that allow it to be connected to the transmission and finally the chassis. Okay, so that's a major milestone done. So the engine, now in. Firewalls, mostly done. Interior is also coming along. So the firewall behind me is now mostly done. So everything that's steel is finished. What comes later after I start it up is I'm gonna add an aluminum firewall back, back in there. Back here, engine now in. It only took a little bit of panda loving to get the engine and the trans to go together, but is fairly trouble free. It looks really good in there. So next episode, I'm gonna be adding in the things that require hoses and wires. So once I have all that laid out, I can then create a plan, order an extremely expensive amount of AN hoses and a lot of wiring stuff. Because once the hoses and the wires are done, that can start for the first time. I'm also gonna be measuring up for the coilovers front and rear. That is an expensive ordeal and uh, I'm stressed out about it. But I appreciate the heck out of it. Thank you for watching so much. It means a lot to me. You have a good one. See you later.